Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW, guys, 5 Series BMW, and you have any of the following eight codes, guys, any of those codes that you can see in the corner of the video, guys, I don't want to mention each one of them, but any of those codes, guys, uh, you guys, okay, uh, we'll find out today what can cause these codes. Okay, 90% of the time when we have one of these codes, okay, what we'll be replacing today will actually fix these codes. Quick introduction to the channel, okay, as you know guys, we have more than, okay, more than 300 videos made on every single car we get at the shop. Specifically on BMWs, we make more than four to 500 videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. If you need to buy any replacement parts or tools that we'll be using, we'll share the links in the description of the video below. Now, we'll demonstrate on six cylinder engine but even if you have a four cylinder engine guys doesn't matter diesel gasoline practically the same guys uh, so uh, not all not all diesel engines will have that but uh, we'll explain guys okay what causes that so now this is n52 straight six cylinder engine one of the most popular engines here in the united states uh, but if you're in europe and you have the four cylinder practically the same thing guys the same uh, device will cause any of those yeah, eight codes so this is guys the intake manifold okay we will need to remove that in order to get to, to the part that we need to replace but practically guys okay if you want to see how to do that everything from start to finish very detailed video we have it on the channel and it's called bmw intake manifold removal if you guys uh, want to check it out i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below you will also need to disconnect the car battery okay before we even start removing the intake manifold because you have engine starter wire here positive wire coming from the battery and one going to the alternator and if you touch things with the ground wire what will happen you can short things out you can cause damage to the electrical system you don't want guys that to happen so now another thing guys it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect first positive or negative if you don't know that i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below it's the same for all cars but it really matters so you do not cause any damage to the electrical system so that being said guys okay you're going to get to that point and here you have one sensor here one over there those are known as knock sensors knock sensor guys okay when you have a bad knock sensor it can throw any of these codes now it doesn't mean that if you have that code it's just the knock sensor but on based on our experience 90 percent of the time okay uh, we actually guys solve that problem by replacing knock sensors you cannot replace just one of them you have to replace both of them especially on that n52 engine why because as you can see they come together into one plug-in thing okay and you need to disconnect it and remove it you will need a special tool guys okay this is the tool it's called female torques we'll share the link in the description of the video below another thing now guys okay if you want to see how to test them we'll have a video made on the channel so you can see how to test knock sensor as well so hopefully guys okay you get the idea the first sensor knock sensor one is for cylinder one two and three and knock sensor two is for cylinder four five and six hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time